All right, so this is Griffith CNM problem 1.3. Says find the angle. Says find the angle between the body diagonals of a cube. I actually have to go look up what body diagonals are, but basically you have your origin at the center of. I don't know if I can draw this. Um, once I start drawing the the angles in, it's going to look really messy. But say here's the center of a cube, and we want to find the angle from um, between the, the vector going from the center of the cube out to one of these corners and to the other one of the corners. Um, so. Um, all right, so what we're going to have, it doesn't matter which two corners we pick, they'll all be, you know, the same as long as we pick. Oh, you know what? Does he actually, yeah, no, he doesn't say, just the body diagonals of Q. So yeah, we'll just say um, just two adjacent corners, any two adjacent corners will have the same angle. Um, all right, so we'll just use um, one which we'll have at the point one, one, one. Nice and easy. And we'll call the other one. Um, we'll use one at the point one, one and minus one. All right. Okay, so we want to find the angle between the two. All right, so what we're going to use is the definition of the dot product. And we'll basically solve for theta. All right, well, the magnitude of A is, so we take 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, and then take the square root, to get the square root of 3. And that's the same for B. Better B because the cube is symmetric. All right. Now, um, so now we know this here and this here. I mean, I can write these the same way. These are just the two magnitudes. All right. So this is equal to, so square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3 cosine of theta. All right, and now there's another way to do the dot product, which is just to go um, component by component. 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. So that's another way of doing the dot product. And that's going to be equal to this here. Well, um, this just comes out um, to be 1. So when we um, solve for angle theta, um, so this one, you know, I can put this right here too. This dot product is equal to this equals 1. Um, theta equals inverse cosine. 